Hello everyone, Jacob Hamilton here. Happy Friday, hope you're having a great day so far. Wanted to make a quick Facebook Live about how we must live daily. And this will apply to salespeople, but it'll apply to anyone, regardless of whether or not you're in sales. And I know for me, and I'm sure it's true for you, oftentimes I start to look into, not just tomorrow, but the next week, the next month, the next quarter, the next year. And that will do one thing. It's going to cause you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. Now, I understand that we have to have goals that we're shooting for. We can't just aimlessly meander through life and hope to end up where we want to end up. I'm all for goal setting. But those goals must be broken up into daily bite-sized increments. There's two verses from the Bible that come to mind when I thought of this concept of living daily. One of them is when the Bible says, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Or let us rejoice and be glad in it. So that verse really reflects the idea of rejoicing in the day, living in the day, being thankful for the day. It doesn't say this is the month this is the year, this is the week. It says, this is the day. Also, it, in the Lord's Prayer, it says, give us this day our daily bread. In other words, focus on your daily need, your daily task, your daily provision. And so we have all this stuff uh, that we see about living for the day, living today. And so what I want you to do, what I want to challenge you to do today and in the coming weeks is just think about what you have to do in a 24-hour period to reach your goals, to do what you feel called to do, to do what you're aiming to do. Because when we start thinking about the next day and the conflict that's going to come in the next weeks and the bills I have to pay in the next couple months and uh, the quota I have to hit uh, by the end of the month and next month and next quarter – and it just, our, our minds, we are not cognitively hardwired to live with that much time in front of us. It's not healthy. It, it creates a lot of mental illness and depression and anxiety. We were meant to live day by day. That's why we're up for a certain period of time in a 24-hour period. Then we go to sleep. Our bodies rejuvenate. They reset according to the circadian rhythm. You get up the next day and you do it again. We were not meant to live in these, you know, with like the next three months in, in our brain right here, or the next two years or the next six weeks. That's just going to cause us a lot of undue stress. So shoot for those long-term goals, but just break it up into bite-sized daily things. Good way to think of it is this. Just try and picture, and I, I try to do this too every day. I try to picture, just act like you have one day left on this planet every single day. Like God just dropped you down on planet Earth Hey, you got 24 hours. What is your task? What are you going to accomplish today? You got 24 hours. And just live your ability to the best of your strength and your knowledge. And just allow that day, just put in everything you can that day. And don't allow tomorrow and the next week and the next month to start eating into your mind because that's going to take away your presentness and your productivity for the day you're actually living in. Here's the reality, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here yet. All we have is right now. So I encourage you to live day by day. It's going to help your mental health. It's going to help you get more accomplished because you're going to be actually focused on the here and now when you're actually in the here and now. Have a great weekend. Take care. God bless.